What's up guys? So my voice is not doing too well this morning. Hopefully it gets a little better later. If you guys have missed my past two videos, I inhaled some enzyme powders on Wednesday and uh, I guess they corroded my vocal cords a little bit to say the least. So I've been showing you guys my meals, but today I'm going to show you my supplement routine, what I do throughout the day that is not shown in those meals. So first thing I do when I wake up is I hydrate with a few cups of water. So here we have Mountain Valley spring water. After I drink the water, I use some magnesium oil with MSM. This gives me quite a bit of energy throughout the entire day. Of course, the magnesium helps, but it's mainly the MSM pertaining to energy levels. So I'm just going to spray my legs. I usually do like both sides of my legs, so five or six sprays. As you guys can see, I'm wearing my Wi-Fi shielding underwear. And then I'll spray my stomach. If I don't have a sweatshirt on, I'll spray my arms too. If I'm lazy, I'll just try to like spray up my back a little bit. And that should be plenty. So between 15 and 20 sprays gives me a good amount of energy. You know, just some on my legs, some on my stomach, on my back. If I go really crazy and do like 30 or 40 sprays, like spray my arms, my underarms, my neck, my head, my face, every single part of my body, then sometimes I do have problems sleeping later. Uh, maybe it's because the amount of magnesium and MSM is too high. I don't know. But, you know, you want to find a middle ground where you feel good and have a lot of energy throughout the day, but you're not overdoing it. Uh, so now we're going to go down to the warehouse for an hour or two. So we are down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And this is the meal that I've been having every day for the most part for the past week when I come in. So... So I've just been having beef jerky, different brands and stuff. Hopefully we get that control panel in this week for the dehydrator so I can start eating our own beef jerky. I got some soft dried apples with some pineapple and then some Cliff Z bars that are a little more calorically dense. But the focus today is the supplements. So would I consider water key for a probiotic supplement? Maybe, but I always drink it with my meal. It makes me feel better. We have some more magnesium that we're gonna be taking, some oral magnesium. The trace mineral supplement, which is boron, manganese, and molybdenum. Very, very important. People notice a huge difference in how they feel once they start taking this. And I do take vitamin K2, which I believe everyone should be taking, especially people in developmental stages of life. And then we just have some masticum that I take with every single meal to uh, ensure it digests well. So I ate like 70% of the meal, and I have a good base of food in my stomach to take this stuff. So. The magnesium tends to settle at the bottom. So just kind of want to shake it up a little bit upside down and make sure that it's mixed. And what I actually do is I just take a little swig of the bottle instead of using the droppers. Swallow it down. Kind of nasty, but it's not too horrible. So with the trace minerals, I will try to do one dropper because it's more precise. And honestly, none of, none of these taste that good, but they're like the purest form of a supplement you can take. And the K2 doesn't really have a taste to it. So... We like half a dropper on the K2. So we got all the vitamins and minerals we need and I'm gonna have another uh, cliff bar just for some more calories. So the master gum, I'm just gonna take a handful, put it in my mouth, let it sit for a minute or two and then I'm gonna chew it like gum. And what that's gonna do is not only clean my mouth out but the saliva is gonna have the mastic resin in it and that's going to go down into my stomach and help a lot with digestion. So. I'm going to do an hour or two of work down here, maybe not. But uh, next time you guys see me will probably be when I have my Flextrose powder later with some lemon juice and ascorbic acid. However, we do have some good news. I didn't notice the control panel came in, I think yesterday or today. So maybe we'll have the dehydrator up and running so I don't have to eat this 
crappy Whole Foods jerky anymore. I actually took like two bites out of it and I couldn't finish it. It's pretty bad. Um, th there's like one or two decent products that Whole Foods does carry, but they're very expensive and it has a lot of ingredients in it. But uh, I'll see you guys later. So we were at the warehouse around 11 in the morning. Now it's about 7 p.m. I got home, I had some steak and rice. I took a nap for a couple hours and I just woke up. And what I'd like to do is take some flextrose with ascorbic acid and a little bit of lemon juice but we are out of lemons, so I forgot to get some, but it doesn't really matter. Sometimes you guys ask me what type of ascorbic acid I use. To my knowledge, there's no like organic ascorbic acid. There's no special stuff. I wish there was. So we just take maybe half a teaspoon of it. And the thing about vitamin C is it's more productive to take a small amount every single day as opposed to try to load it all at once because your body can't utilize it that way. And then I'm gonna take maybe four or five tablespoons of flextrose. And if you guys are not familiar with flextrose, it is a 99% glucose supplement that we came out with two or three months ago now. And the reason you want glucose is because the main reason carbohydrates are stressful is because you know fruit has fructose, starches need to be digested, but when you give your body pure glucose, especially your liver, your body can use it for a lot of different things. Yeah, this is a lot more enjoyable with lemon juice and a little bit of salt as well. It's like a lemonade. It tastes like a plain lemonade. Now I always feel good after I drink this and this is one of the main things that helped me never get sick. Vitamin C, very important for immune system function and what we're about to do next is the next thing. So we are back in my bathroom and maybe I'll do a little tour of my bathroom just to show you guys every single hygiene product I use. But most of them are Frankie's Naturals. So we have you know some hair pomade, some deodorant, um, iodine from Organ Supplements, which is what we're using right now. So this is a water flosser and it basically just pressure washes between your teeth and I put iodine in this, and then I basically rinse my mouth with iodine. Sometimes I even put iodine on my toothbrush, and I brush my teeth with iodine. And although it's you know, very reddish orange, it doesn't actually stain your teeth, but it will stain the hell out of your bathroom, so be very, very careful. I wouldn't use this in your bathroom unless you feel like scrubbing it out of the grout for uh, 30 minutes in case you drop it. So by doing that, I'm not only sanitizing my mouth very well, I'm also giving myself my daily dose of iodine that I need, which is super important because there's so much fluoride and chloride and bromide, all of these negative halogens in our food and water supply, and the iodine directly counters that. So I do feel good when I do get iodine on a daily basis. Sometimes I will use it to like wash my face or even other parts of my body, but that's kind of rare. Um, I don't usually do it that much because if you do put iodine on your skin, it will like stain it for a couple hours so if you have to film a video like I do every day I try to avoid that because then I have like blotches all over my face or something but I think that's really it that's all of the supplements I'm taking right now uh, the main thing that we didn't do today was consuming the animal testicles or the freeze-dried uh, bovine testicle powder and that's something I do every two weeks the only reason I don't do it more often is because it's kind of stressful and hard on the liver um, at least if you have impaired liver function. So when I was uh, getting like crazy, crazy high testosterone results and you guys actually thought I was on steroids and people still bring it up from time to time because my testosterone was like 3000 nanograms or something, completely crazy high. I was eating animal testicles every day and they are proven to have bioactive testosterone in them. So um, I did have one of my viewers take them and send me his results and, and his testosterone was higher too. And I do feel better when I eat it, like I have more energy, but I get aggressive and I get a tension in my head and almost headache. So that's just the one thing we haven't done in this video. Um, other stuff like vitamin D supplements, copper, antioxidant support, B vitamins. I do take those from time to time, but it's fairly irregular. So maybe what I should do is like an entire explanation of every single supplement I have and when you would take it. I don't know, maybe we'll do that one day next week or the following week. But thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you like next week, and share this on any social media you have access to if you can. Outside of that, you can go to frank-defile.com to support me through all of my businesses. 
We have a bunch of interesting things on the organ supplements, including the magnesium oil. We have the Flextrose on frankiestrangefoods.com in addition to the water kefir. And we do have the animal testicles fresh on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.